Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Owner of rented short-let apartment testifies in Osifo Ataga's murder case. Police parade 14 over invasion on Justice Orderly's residence. APC candidate Andu Ba rejects outcome of Anambra governorship election. One killed, two abducted as gunmen attack FUT Mina community. Gunmen have attacked Gidong Kwano, the community hosting the permanent site of the Federal University of Technology Mina. This incident happened after the school's matriculation ceremony on Wednesday. Sources said that one person was killed by a stray bullet during shooting. The police public relations officer in Niger State ASP Wasu Abiodun, who confirmed the incident, said the gunman abducted two children of a shop owner opposite the gate of the campus. He said an immediate response by the police and vigilante squad has led to the arrest of one of the suspects during a stop and search operation at Bakuta village. The victims are yet to be rescued. The Senator Andu Ba campaign organization has rejected the result of the just concluded Anambra state governorship election as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The campaign organization said the outcome of the election was a charade and did not reflect the wishes of the people of Anambra state. The organization said Senator Andu Ba is a victim of widespread electoral fraud and manipulation by INEC in cohorts with the Willy Obiano regime and the security forces deployed to oversee the Anambra state governorship election. It added that the elections were characterized by widespread irregularities, intimidation and voter suppression in order to clear the path for the inglorious victory of APGA in the polls. The first prosecution witness in the murder trial against Chide Maojuku has testified before Justice Yotunde Adelamwa of the Lagos State High Court sitting in the Tafawa Balewa Square Annex. The 23-year-old Chidema is standing trial for allegedly killing Michael Lusifo, CEO of Super TV. Ike Chimobo, who was presented by the Director of Public Prosecutions in the state, Olayin Kadiemi, is the owner of the short lit apartment at 19 Adiwali Ocean Street, Lekki Phase 1, where Mr. Shifu was murdered. She told the court the apartment in question is self-serviced, fully furnished with TV, satellite subscription, internet, kitchen alliances and 24-hour power supply. The police on Thursday paraded 14 suspects over the invasion of the Abuja residence of a Supreme Court Justice Miri Odili. Police spokesman Frank Umba, who briefed newsmen, described the suspects as imposters who were unknown to any of the nation's security forces. Mr. Amba said the 14 suspects and seven others now at large conspired to rid the residents following information that the Supreme Court justice was keeping a large sum of money in foreign currencies. However, the police commended the resistance put up by the security personnel attached to Odelis residents for not allowing the suspects access to the building on the day of the incident. He said it would have been the greatest embarrassment to the nation before the international community if the operation had succeeded. Odioni Gallo has finally linked up with the Super Eagles at their camp in Tangia, Morocco, ahead Saturday's World Cup qualifying match against the Lone Stars of Liberia. Igalo, who was recalled from his two-year international retirement, had kept many guessing when he failed to show up in camp three days after it was declared open with the arrival of Dana Lakpei from South Africa. Igalo retired from the Nigeria senior national football team after helping the Super Eagles to a third-place finish at the 2019 AFCON in Egypt, where he emerged as the top scorer. The Al-Shabaab striker, however, breezed in on Thursday to quell insinuations he is rethinking his decision to return to the national team, a development which has actually divided opinions. <laughs>